All right, we've made it to the trailhead. We're just taking off now. Expect the first couple miles to be easy downhill in the sand. And then we're uh, dropping into the main part of the canyon. So Her first backpacking trip. Addie's first packing trip. My first in what, 16 years? Yep, <laughs> Julie and I haven't backpacked together for 16 years. The last time we were together, we got home to our oldest in the hospital. Oh. Um, and so we're hoping that when we arrive home this time, everything will be in good order. We're about a mile in. We're just stopping to empty the sand out of shoes. We're hopefully out of the sand for a while until we um, get past the cliff and then it's all sand down into the canyon. So we're about a mile, a mile in, about another half mile to go until we hit the canyon. down from the uh, crack route and have made it down to the river as you can see we're hanging out in the shade here for a couple minutes uh, soaking our feet and then we're gonna head up Canyon it wasn't too bad coming down the rock was it, it was fun. Yep. I enjoyed that the most I think is getting those cracks and lowering ourselves from the rocks and stuff. It was fun. so far so good Stopped here for a couple minutes for lunch. Pick up some beef jerky and whatnot. Enjoying the shade and the sound of the waterfall that you can see there 
in the background. We've been hiking for what, three hours, three and a half hours, maybe four hours now. Oh. Yeah, and we've probably got another three or four to go. So we're about halfway in. A lot of water in the canyon this year, by the way. Um, all of the springs that I'm aware of are all running very uh, freely. So that's nice, a lot of water. to Coyote Natural Bridge, which is awesome. Put your hands up, Addy, you'll hold it up. Hands up. Straight, um, never mind. <laughs> okay. favorite spots in the canyon. Of course, I have many favorite spots. We always call this the scallops. And you, uh, you can't see as it goes up into the light there because of the contrast. Maybe right there, but it just kind of goes down. It's like Julie's gonna get a little wet here. Hold on. What fire? Jacob Hamblin Arch. Jet boil. Okay, ready to fire her up. In directions. Open pouch or no pouch. Turn the pouch, the pouch shuts up the main. Add two cups of boiling water. Okay, that's what we need. Dad's got my my seat under the arch. What brand is that? Alpine Air. Alpine Air. Pepper, pepper beef. beef with rice. Does that mean it has peppers or it's spicy? Spicy. Oh, good thing you took that. And we got a boil. That was quick, like a jet. The can doesn't get hot. That gets hot. Ooh, I'm gonna need a spoon, Adelaide. Okay. Oh. My good deep spoon is in my bag. In the red bag? Yep. Ah. Searching for color. 
was. Still haven't found what you're looking for? <laughs> it's a song. You need to put it on a rock. What's hot? Got the arch behind you. Pretty, now when it's cold outside, I'll usually wrap this in a sock. But in it's pretty warm. Sock? You wrap the bag in a sock to yeah, keep it insulated? Keep it insulated. But One of your sandy socks? <laughs> You're not eating off the outside of it. That's true. Okay, now we wait for 15 minutes. Tonight I'm going to do a review of the Sea to Summit Spork. It's titanium, which works really well. Super light, super strong, has a nice little carabiner, make sure it's connected to your bag or whatever. But I would never buy this again because it's got a matte finish on it and everything sticks to it and your lips stick to it and food sticks to it and it's virtually impossible to clean in the backcountry. So I still carry it because it's light and I paid the 12 bucks or whatever to use it, to have it, but it sucks. So don't buy a Sea to Summit Sport. Thank you. He's about to try it. Well, all the meat floated to the top, so we're going to mix in some of the meat. What meat there is, it's mostly rice. <laughs> now, it's very important not to burn your mouth on the first bite. <laughs> We've done that many times. One time I burned the roof of my mouth so bad, it blistered. And then the rest of the trip, I would put the blistered skin on the top of my mouth as I hiked. Maybe you should. Because it was all a big giant flap of skin up there. Yeah. It was nasty. It hurt like the dickens. Okay, that should probably be cool enough. Hot? Mm hmm. Well? Gluten-free. <laughs> well, rice usually is. <laughs> I've had a lot of flavorful meals, that's for sure. More flavorful meals. So, it is convenient, versatile, lightweight. But it's not very good. <laughs> good. But it'll do. Good to know. All right. We've made it to uh, our camp spot after dinner. We walked up the canyon a ways, took a few pictures up past Jacob Amblin Arch, said hello to all the people up there. We found this great little camp spot where Jacob and Spencer and I spent last spring. Um, a little more quiet on this side of the arch, right next to the water. But we've got our sleeping bags uh, laid out. Um, I'm going to sleep out under the stars, enjoy the sounds of the frogs, and watch the bats. It should be a good night. It should be clear. So we'll catch you in the morning. Oh, hey there. I had your sleep last night, Adelaide. Horrible. Really? Yeah, I slept much better. I even dreamed. I didn't sleep horrible, I just... It took me a long time to get to sleep because that stupid chupacabra was making that noise. <laughs>
All right, we're off to gather water this morning. The spring is right across the, the little stream from us. So we'll show you how that's done. You're gonna have to step on those mossy rocks when I step on that rock that you're standing on. All right, we're packed up and ready to go. We've taken care of all of our business this morning. <laughs> and last night. And last night, and all of the business is in the packs. <laughs> and we're headed up. You have a new experience camping with girls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's definitely been different. A little more bathroom drama. Other than that, it's been great. All right, so let's go hit the ropes, shall we? Climb out of here. Here we go. So that's we're going right up that. It's a bear going up this thing. Straight up. it out. We're just about to the top. You can see where we've been. The line, top of the line goes here, all the way down into the dark abyss there. You can get a, see it down there. This is what it sounds like to be a climber with only one lung. I'm pretty spent coming up out of this thing. I can barely breathe. <laughs> so it's a good thing that we're not at elevation. Because that would really kick my trash. break on top of the hills, sandstone. <laughs> the sand is sucking my will to live. <laughs> We've made it to the cars. We're dead. Nah. Nah, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Nice cool breeze. Yeah, it's better. Wasn't too bad. So, what did you think of the trip? It was really cool. It was really fun. And I totally do it again. It was the experience I liked. Right now? Not right now. <laughs> uh, she did great. She did a lot better than I thought she would. Yep. Adelaide's a great little hiker. So. We're gonna set up a chair, find some shade for uh, Adelaide and Julie, and then I'm gonna hike back down, packless, thank mm -hmm. goodness. Two miles. Uh, yeah, two and a half miles to the car, and then I'll come back and pick them up. 